I'm here with Gary Trambinski. He is the organizer of the Queen Street Car Cruise. I know he's going to correct me here. And go ahead, my friend. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I, I am actually a co-chair uh, with Joe Bachelia for the Queen Street Cruise Festival. Joe and I are the two founding uh, members that started the Queen Street Cruise seven years ago already. Uh, we've This is our fifth annual one. We missed two years with COVID. Right. And it's the... Uh, Queen Street, Sault Ste. Marie Queen Street Cruise Festival, because we're a nonprofit organization and all the, uh, the all the money that we raise for registrations for the cars goes to the, this year will be Sioux Area Hospital Foundation. So horses, tractors, lawnmowers, what, 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 anything, what can, what can uh, come anything, with an engine? What, yeah, anything, you bring it out, cruise, park it. Uh, you know, we, we want to put a shout out to anybody with drag cars where we'd like to see some of them come out. Uh, there's a lot of drag cars in the Sioux. If anybody has a junior dragster, uh, there was some junior dragsters around a few years ago. Love to see them come out to the uh, the show on Saturday and, and show their uh, dragster. Uh, stock cars is making a revitalization. Love to have some stock cars out to the show and, and show the people what the, those look like up close. How many do you have registered so far? We have over 100 cars registered already. And just all makes and models? Yes. Like Antiques, rat rods, uh, classic cars, you name it, we've got it. So what do you find to be the biggest benefit outside of the nonprofit idea? What's the biggest benefit to people that show up to this event? Just to relive the memories of cruising Queen Street when Queen Street was the main drag and uh, before cell phones, uh, if you wanted to uh, meet somebody, it was on Queen Street because uh, everything happened on Queen Street. It so was a meeting place. There's there's other communities that do uh, right across the river. Yeah, they they do the same Smash sort of and thing. Ashman. Smash same, and Ashman. Smash and Ashman. I'm I'm thinking I Woodward. I worked in Windsor, so you have the uh, Dream Cruise across the way, yes, the Woodward yes, yes. Avenue Dream Cruise. Uh, a lot of them gain support from the community and from council and all the other stuff. Do you, do you get a lot of support from those organizations? Yes, we do. Uh, you know what? The city has been excellent with us over the years. Um, we have, uh, we normally had two councillors that sat on it. Rick Nero is one of them and Susan Myers was the last one. And uh, with the election coming up, we didn't bother replacing um, Susan this year um, in two years that we missed. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the city's been excellent. Tourism Sault Ste. Marie has uh, so, uh, sponsored us and gave us some funding for, for advertising and stuff. So yeah, no, the city's worked well with us. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, we're really trying to build it into a tourist attraction similar to Woodward Cruise. I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't uh, uh, modeled after the Woodward Cruise. I mean, we've seen that and say, oh my God, if we could ever do half of what they have, you know. So, sounds like Windsor. Windsor, when they go down, when they go right up Olette Street in Windsor, it's the idea of, well, you're on the same weekend as the Woodward. You're just the day before. Yeah. And people come and do Windsor and then they go across. Ah. And that's previous to to what COVID did to everything. Yes, but, yeah. But... Knowing that, what's your record? Do you know what your record amount of cars was? I would say close to the 250 mark. I, we, we it's, Once it starts happening, we can only go by our registration. And this year by far is the biggest pre-registration that we've ever had. Normally we run about 60 to 70 cars pre-registered. We're well over 100 now. So that's exciting. We're really excited about that. So... Look right at that camera there. Yep. Tell us what happens on Friday night, what happens on Saturday, and what you want the people of Sault Ste. Marie and the area to know. Well, we would love the people of Sault Ste. Marie to come out and take part in this event. We feel that, uh, you know, we, we've put a lot of work into the organization, so we want the cars to come down Queen Street. It's going to start on Friday night around 6 o'clock. They will uh, start uh, accumulating anywhere from the city and make their way down to Queen Street to start cruising into the GFL Memorial Gardens at 6 o'clock. We have Boneyard playing from 6 to 10 at the GFL. Jeff and Jeff, uh, Jeff McNeese and Jeff McCourt, they will also be uh, playing down there. Uh, we have a beer gardens, we have food vendors, uh, we have displays, we have kid events. So, I mean, uh, if you're looking to be entertained and a reason to get out of the house, this is the event you want to come to. So do they have a certain start point on Queen Street they start at and they go to at a certain time or is it just kind of they all kind of just it's go just, whenever they want? It's just uh, <clears throat> back in, in the day, 
50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, uh, we would cruise Queen and park for a little while, chit chat, and and that's what we're trying to relive is is just the the memories of that. And you, you everybody keeps cruising though. Like I mean, it's it's we used to be bumper to bumper on Queen Street. It was unbelievable, and and you'd cruise Queen and Bay or Albert, and you come around and. It was just just a lot of fun. And we want everybody to keep cruising and giving people rides in their cars. And that's what it's all about. It's all about pushing on that tradition. Yep. Yep. Just keep cruising. Come in. Enter, enter, listen to some entertainment. Chit chat with everybody. Meet some old friends. Make some new ones. Make some new ones. Well, thank you for coming in today, Gary. Thanks, Dan. I will be down there next Friday at 6 o'clock. All other situations allowing for. So I will see you then. I I pre- appreciate that, and uh, and don't forget about the car show on Saturday. That's uh, the car show is going to be from uh, about ten o'clock in the morning till four. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, Saturday night the uh, Gateway Casinos is hosting a casino night. And are there prizes for the car show? There is. Oh yes, there's <laughs> lots. Of, there's lots of prizes if you register and donate the twenty dollars to your your registration goes right to Arch. You will get that back in prizes. Uh, there's lots of good prizes that'll be drawn for. There's a, a gift bag that you get, and so you'll you'll get your money back there. But a Sioux Area Hospital Foundation has a 50/50 draw that they're giving away on uh, Saturday at three o'clock, and that that 50/50 draw is worth ten thousand dollars minimum, yeah. depending on the sales. So. Uh, that's our charity, and, and they're trying to raise money. The five-car draws, tickets will be available, but the 50-50 draw is the big one that's going to be going on Saturday. It's $10,000 minimum. So come on down Friday. Come on down Saturday. Go see Gary. Go see the cars. Go try and get some money. And uh, support a good cause in Arch. Thanks for coming in today, Gary. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.